okay so this is weird so far no update and it is happening for like years for the first time in so many years like if i go and check the update for now there is no i18.6 beta 1 if i turn off this and to see if there is 18.5.1 and no there is no 18.5.1 and i don't know what is going on with apple but this is something that is happening for the first time honestly not happy the way things are going on i know on 9th of june wwdc is going to take place apple is going to bring ios 26 developer beta 1 a lot more stuff I know they will be busy over there, but still this never happens before like in many years that Apple didn't came up with the update before the WWDC event. But yes, it is happening this time. So I thought what we can do like for the people who are facing issues with the battery life um, and the overheating and the lagging, what people can do as there is no 18.5.1 and we are still not sure if it is coming or not. So until the update is not coming, we are not sure what stuff we can do at our own to improve the overall performance of the device. So this video is going to all about that. Let's begin. So what changes you can make? Here are a few changes that you can make to improve the battery life and to stop the um, battery draining on your iPhone. So first thing what you need to do is you need to understand why battery draining is happening at first place. So for that you can go into the battery section over here let the battery stats load over here you can tap on any app and see which app is consuming most of the time in the background for example whatsapp is consuming one hour, one hour and two minute in the background tiktok is consuming nine minutes in the background and other like that so if there's any app that is consuming a lot in the background you can turn that app by going into journal background app refresh from here you can turn the app just like this you can simply turn the app from the background it will stop taking um process in the background and that will help to improve the battery life that will help to stop the battery draining um coming back what you can do is um if you don't use apple intelligence at all you can turn apple intelligence because apple intelligence is integrated to many different places in your iphone and that is consuming a lot of battery life so if you don't use apple intelligence you can just turn it off go back from here go into the privacy and security there is a lot to do with the privacy and security first of all as always get into the tracking turn it off it will turn off for every other app you need to make sure that this feature is turned off also go back go sorry go all the way down into the analytics and improvements and turn it off from here turn all these things off you don't need to turn them on go back from here go to apple intelligence report as you can see let me like do something like this and over here okay let me set my phone let me turn off data try to slow a bit okay Turn it off from here. You don't need Apple Intelligence Report at all. Um, like it is just making a report for Apple to improve the overall performance of the Apple Intelligence, but at the same time, it is consuming a lot of your battery. So just turn it off. You don't need to, you know, let them make a report for you or for them even. So just turn it off, and then go to the uh, motion and fitness. If you like, not a fitness freak or don't use your iPhone for you know counting your step you can just turn off fitness tracking because fitness tracking is, is always turned on even you are sleeping even when you are not using your device it is always on tracking your movements and that is consuming a lot of battery life in the background so make sure to turn that off too this way there are a few things that you can make you can play with the notifications um you can turn off the notifications that are not important as you can see off 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 most of the notifications are off that are not important so you can also do that to improve the battery life you can get into the sound and haptics go all the way down into keyboard and um uh, keyboard feedback turn off the haptics from here you can go back turn off the system haptics from here to improve the battery life so these are some of the ways you can improve the battery life on the ios 18.5 um 
I know Apple should do this. They should come out with the iOS 18.5.1. So since it is not out, we can do this stuff and wait for the update. So yeah, this is all for this video. And I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Peace out.